new guys may jam so yeah october 1st at 3:42. so again i have an unknown chicken condition chronic fatigue syndrome i also did a short video and i know i said i was going to do photos and videos as soon as i woke up but i can't help myself <laughs> i love being in the kitchen so right now i'm making a uh, fitty takes flight vegan wontons as well as uh, pan fried uh, buns because I got to use up the cabbage. So I've pretty much been prepping stuff. I've also had an upset stomach so <laughs> I haven't really been wanting to do videos yet because of that. So yeah, you kind of probably know the info for that. And uh, one question that I always get asked is how come I'm never lonely? and why I don't want to be in a relationship because I keep saying I've been single for two years and I'm loving it. Main reason <coughs> is because of my medication that I'm on. I have no uh what do you call it? No a romantic personal affection that I want to give to people or to get from people. That's the light way of saying <laughs> <laughs> saying, yeah, I have, uh, I don't have any sexual feelings kind of thing. <laughs> so that's my number one thing. Because there's no point of being in a relationship if you don't want to hug and kiss and be with somebody because of my medication. Um, secondly, I've been in so much shit from relationships, uh, including dating, <laughs> as you guys know. So I just remember, why do I want to go through all that when all it is is just drama and crap. And I was in a loveless relationship for the last one. So really some relationships aren't really that great. And lately, like a lot of my friends, they've all been in relationships recently. And they've all been used or they've all been taken advantage of. And they all say the same thing too. There's no point of being in a relationship because people are very selfish, unfortunately. I mean, if you can find somebody who isn't, good for you. But I just don't want to go through all the work to be in a relationship either. Like going out to date and going out. <laughs> and then I have to like get dressed up and I have to put makeup on. And I have to go out with people because they don't want to stay home all day. So I really don't really feel like doing that and uh yeah I pay like I keep saying I pay rent <laughs> I pay rent I pay for my cat so I just want to be home all day so there's nothing wrong with that I, I'm getting my money's worth <laughs> and so so far I just haven't found anybody who's like that like a lot of people want to go out and they want to do stuff with their days but I'm the exact opposite I like being at home and yeah, I enjoy cooking <laughs> and I enjoy baking and cleaning. So, <clears throat> I mean, I do have crushes, obviously. Like I keep saying, I'm so into Ryan Chi and Nick Crawley, but they're all like YouTube people. So it's like people that I probably never meet. Still hoping to meet Ryan one day because he's from Vancouver. <laughs> but who knows? Like I said, so, that, I don't know if that answers your question, but, yeah, just remember, I've been through too much crap. I don't want to deal with all that again, so I've been two years single. And life's been good for once. <laughs> I prefer having my own bed to myself. If I ever do end up in a relationship, I don't want it to be like a, du like a duplex where they have one side, their own place. And I have my own place, and then when we want to hang out, then we hang out. But I don't want to be with somebody every single day. <clears throat> and I've always been like that, and that's why I prefer long-distance relationships. Because you don't have to deal with people every single day long. I mean, it doesn't mean that I'm not interested in you. <laughs> it just means that I got my own stuff to deal with, so I don't want to uh, go through that, so... And then I also have my cats, so they keep me company, and then YouTube. So if you guys ever feel lonely, start a YouTube channel. 
Um, like I said, I don't really care too much about the views and subscribers, but I kind of do because I kind of want to make money at the same time. But if I can, if I can't, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> so, um, yeah, hopefully that answers your guys' questions. And again, I've been up since 11. And then I went to bed at midnight last night, so I'm hoping to stay up today. Um, I did hear back from my dad, he's sick, so hopefully next week we'll meet up. If not, sometime. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so hopefully that answers your questions, but I'm back in the kitchen. I know I keep saying I'm going to do something else, I'm going to do something else, but I love cooking and... <laughs> You guys don't have to watch it when I cook, but like I said, I love cooking and I've been, there's so many dishes that I'm craving and I'm trying to use up the cabbage and I'm tired of cabbage rolls and cabbage steaks and all that, so I found another recipe. So right now though, I'm using the tofu for the deep fried wontons, so yeah, just checking the time there. Oh, and I got this from my landlord. So I've been eating the so I've been eating that. <laughs> These are so good. I've had them before. And then here's the tofu. And so yeah, stay tuned to see what I'm making. But yeah, it's really easy to make a YouTube channel, like I keep saying. You don't have to be a daily vlogger, but I find it actually helps me more than it helps you guys. Because, even though sometimes I do get lonely, I guess. <clears throat> like last night, I was thinking of going back on Facebook dating site. And I was like, why the hell would I do that? <laughs> it's just going to be the same crap again and again. You talk to all these people, and then nothing happens. Or... You end up dealing with this same crap. So, I just haven't had any good experiences with dating. So, I'm fine with that now. <laughs> like I said, my medication is literally what helps the most. Yeah, I just find it funny because, like I could say, yeah, I used to be a player too, and I used to play around, like, date different guys, and I've been through all that. Now I'm in my 40s, there's really no point of doing all that <laughs> again. And then my friends are all like, oh... I wish I had no uh, sexual de sexual desires. I'm like, do you guys want my medication? <laughs> that's a joke. Because that's literally what it is, is my medication. I'm thankful for my medication. Because now I don't have any needs to date. I don't want to date. I mean, I do like guys. And like, if I ever end up with like Nick or Ryan, that'd be different. But even then, <laughs> it'd be like really has to be, they have to prove themselves. And I know a lot of guys aren't like that. And especially like right now, there's a lot of selfish people out there. And everything is about them, them, them. And they always want to see me. And I'm like, well, I got stuff to do. Why can't you come to my place? So that's why I liked being with my ex because it was long distance. So he would come here and then I would go there and then you just hang out at home all day. <laughs> but not everybody likes that, unfortunately. But I've always been a homebody. The only time when I actually like going out is when I travel. But that's because I want to see all these things. I live in Vancouver. I've seen everything pretty much tons of times. <laughs> And I'm just making the one ton filling. 
So, so far I have the shiitake mushrooms and the garlic in here, and I also have carrots as well, which I gotta go grab. So there's the grated carrots. But yeah, I've been craving one tons. <laughs> and I usually do, um, it doesn't taste like chickens one tons because it's just uh, walnuts and mushrooms. But this time I'm trying to do take slight one tons because it's something different. So this time when, because people are like, oh, all you ever do is foodie take slight. I'm like, actually, no. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> I also do it doesn't chicken uh it doesn't taste like chicken, yin men's cooking. But this time I'm doing I usually do it doesn't taste like chicken. Uh one tons, but this time I'm actually doing foodie takes sweet tofu, which I've never done uh one tons, which I've never done. And also the pan fried buns I'm going to do next. I've already prepared the filling. I just have to make the dough. And then let it sit for an hour. But I'm going to do that in the evening. I want to do one thing at a time here. So this is a really good stress reliever too. <laughs> Crumbling tofu. <laughs> So yeah, later though for sure I'll do some, I have to do my photo, my birthday photos because I only did some of them, I only did a few of them with my decorations and I want to do more and I got a tattoo, fake tattoo, so I want to use that and then I'm going to take down the birthday decorations so I could put the Halloween decorations up, so that'll be later tonight. I don't think I'm going to fall asleep, unless if I do, it'll be like around 6. So this, you just squish it. Squish. Or crumble. So that's why I got, for me, cooking is a stress relief. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys ever like have, if you guys are ever lonely because of, sexual desires I talk to if I were you I talk to my doctors thankfully <clears throat> with my medication I don't have that but if I did then I would talk to my doctors and I'd be like is there anything you could give me so I don't care about dating and that I don't feel lonely because <laughs> I don't want to be It's just more crap than it's worth. Like I said, I've, I've dated lots when I was younger. I'd rather have these conditions than date. <laughs> That's how much I hate dating now. It's a lot different now. Like I said, the last two dates I went on, they almost, they tried to abuse me. Like attack me. And then the last one ghosted me and I knew them. So, what's the point? There's, n there's really no point. I don't, I don't need to be treated like that. <laughs> Unfortunately, if you don't really go out, you don't really meet people. But, I just want to be at home with my kitty cats. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I love my medication. <laughs> so many good things about it. No sexual desires, it puts me to sleep. What more could I ask for? <laughs> yeah, the, the only downfall is that I do get stomach issues because of my medication, but the other things are like so much better. But I've been through a lot of crap, so for me it's different. But yeah, I just thought I'd say that since people are asking me. 
I couldn't be enjoying being single because I get used and I get treated like shit. One second. Water is going on. And I know I keep talking badly about my relationships, but I have had good relationships, like I said before, so that's a feeling. But it didn't work out because we just didn't feel the same way about each other. We wanted different things. Or, um, what else was I saying? Yeah, we didn't have the same feelings for each other. We wanted different things. <clears throat> I've had people that wanted to, like, move away, and I don't, I can't move, so. Like I said, those are those relationships were good, but then you still ended up with the heartbreak, and it took me a long time to get over those relationships. That I just want don't want to go through that again. Unless if somebody special, really, really special, comes on, like the crushes that I have. <laughs> but even then, you'd have to prove to not be a shithead. <laughs> Like, all the other relationships I've been in. And I don't want to end up in a relationship just to get my heart broken again. I've already been through that three times. And... Been with my cat. <laughs> so, I've had enough hurt. I've had enough broken relationships. I just don't want to deal with that. So, whenever I feel lonely... I just sleep. <laughs> I sleep or I do YouTube or I cook because it's a good stress relief. So yeah, but my best advice is if you feel lonely, start a YouTube channel and start doing vlogs because that has, other than the medication, that has been helping the most. Now I gotta go on Google to figure out, I mean, to the website to figure out what the spices are to add in and then fold it, so probably won't do any videos till after it's done. I'm also getting some more, uh, vegetables and stuff like that from my family because we share it now, so I give them some and they give me some, so... <laughs> It's good. I still have to make the parsnip burgers. So, at some point, I will get around to doing uh, the photos, birthday photos. But first, I want to finish the wontons. The wontons. I do go outside for like a lot of smoke breaks, but like I said, I'm only in there for like 18, 10, 15 minutes. The reason why it takes me so long to cook stuff is because I'm cleaning at the same time or prepping for other stuff. So, but I do love this vlogging kit. And I've had three cups of coffee, four cups of water. <laughs> And I have to go to the washroom again. So that's why I have that's why I don't do live because I always have to use the washroom and I can't do that on live. I know some people do, but I'm not one of those people. Just like I won't take a shower on video. So I think that's disgusting when people do that <laughs> when they show their private parts. Which they have a few times. So yeah, any more questions, or if there's any questions that I see in my comments and I think would be a good thing to answer, I will in a video. But, I'm trying to squish up the feeling. I guess I have to use my hands. 
<laughs> so it gets a little messy. It's messy, but it's fun. <laughs> but I will put my makeup on later. And do photos. Because today is the first. So I gotta put up my Halloween decorations in. I have my Halloween decorations up all year round. It's just. I just got new ones, so I wanna add those ones. But, like I said, gotta do my birthday stuff first. I guess I could always save it for next year. <laughs> That's like a year from now, so I could just buy a new tattoo then. I like taking birthday photos. Mm. <laughs> uh, this gets tiring after a while. <laughs> But, like I said, it's the one ton feeling. It's also a bit of stress relief. Because I'm stressed out about a lot of things. Money. Life. <laughs> but GST is Thursday. So I'm always counting down the days. <laughs> So that's going to help out a lot. Mm. This is almost done. Yep. That's as good as I get. So i got to wash my hands again. So I think before I actually make the one tons, I might take a break and eat yesterday's food that I made and <laughs> watch TV. But this is what I made so far. So, trying to watch Days of Our Lives. Still haven't watched another episode since the last time. <laughs> so this is what the one ton filling looks like. So yeah, I'm gonna go take a break, uh, warm up my food from yesterday, put this in the fridge, go grab some more produce and drop some produce off, and then I will talk to you guys later after uh, I eat, and then get come back to cooking here on Phantom Stories. Welcome to my haunted world, XOXO OG Uppercoast. <laughs>